love from love, hope from hope, and peace from Buddha, one of the Lord's prophets of love. And uh, he sends forth the greatest exhortation through his writings, lifting up unconditional love as uh, the Lord has always had. So let the world hear Buddha's truest truths about love one more time and know that he rightly predicted Christ coming 700 years later, right down to every single mark uh, that he endured, uh, scars of his... Uh, uh, of his torturous end. So let all children of truth comprehend that the blessed sounds of our living love endlessly resonates within all of his love and creation, and that his resounding word of love echoes freely throughout the universe on such a high frequency it could never really be heard by anyone focusing on the loudness around them, nor could that son of love ever physically be embraced until his kingdom age finally comes forth upon the most blessed winds of the Lord's very best good wishes towards man that even blows now forth as a great storm of his adoration, benevolence, and charity for one and all of us. His love is coming forth as a, a many seas of, of his best wishes. The wind is full and the tide is with us. And let it also be known that he is always easily felt within anyone's heart. Uh, as long as such followers of love have unconditionally given their hearts unto love's keeping. It's all in the unconditionality of it because conditional love is not even love at all. That is the gross darkness that has covered all mankind, that kind of understanding of love. And love will set us free. Love is the truest truth. Love can easily be shown by those walking with the Lord, and it's easily, additionally, uh, easy to be seen that it's also a supernatural feeling love is that's much more jealous than any awaiting grave, for love desires all of one's heart. It seeks all of one's souls, and even discovers love's brightest reflection in darkened souls who are barely touched by love through the helping hands of all those who are possessed by his most lofty spirit of kindness and charity pressed down, uh, shaken, overflowing together. Love also deeply craves much more of the same to return unto our Father of lights, who sent Buddha and Jesus Christ, the Son of Love, uh, who came and died a terrible death uh, of a seemingly forsaken martyr. For hatred always attracts more hate, just as darkness continually attracts more darkness. But the love of Christ uh, saves all of us. Love therefore radiates the Lord's greatest adoration while offering his endless charity unto all men at the same time. Whether the righteous or evil makes no difference because it rains on the just and the unjust. And know that his passionate agape dearness is like a hard falling rain of some living water that always falls upon mankind. Um, uh, people that will not run away from it if they will stand and face the element of love being poured out as a storm upon them. Simultaneously, that living love of purity that God is sending forth these days because he is love and all those who love are born again of him and know him because he is love. So praise the Lord that uh, he He sees us not as we are, as Buddha taught, but as what we will be. And we are children of the universe, children of love. We are angels in the flesh. Um, Jesus taught that we are gods in John 10. I tell you truly, uh, as one who would restore all things, we are angels in the flesh and the glory of the Lord's latter house is greater than that of the former. The first is last, the last is first, and that is why it is foretold that we would be as the angels in the in the, our next life, because that's exactly what we are. And that is why we will judge the angels, because we are among their number. So uh, blessed are those who stand united within the brightness of our trinity of oneness, Elohim, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, all together as one. And so great shall be the blessings that will befall all people who will realize that when Mercury is apart, 
it is a part. When it is together in uh, three, four pieces come together, it's just one big blob of mercury. Whether it was together or apart, it, it was still mercury. It does not change. Who was Jesus, son of Mary? <laughs> he was not a son of God. He was God in the flesh, people. That was his name. Sure, he, I, I, I'll admit he was the son of God all day long. But he was Emmanuel, God with us in the flesh. And people, what happened is purely simple. And Paul, the apostle, foretold that uh, all the creation in the latter days would be groaning with great expectation for the revelation of who we are. And the reason why I know beyond a shadow of a doubt is this, people. I'm going to flip this around for a, a half a second here. Uh, maybe I won't. Another day. Love from love and until next time, stay real. <laughs> and 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 embrace all that's good connected with prophecy and uh, don't throw out no babies with bath water please <laughs>